Now let's talk about iTunes on your Mac and PC. iTunes is the world's most popular media player. Now iTunes was at the center of your digital hub. It was the place where you kept all your music, movies, and TV shows. But iCloud changed all of that. iCloud keeps your purchases and makes them available to all of your devices, and it's been a huge, huge hit. We now have over 200 million customers using iTunes in the cloud. And they've downloaded more than 15 billion songs, movies, TV shows, apps, and books right from the cloud. But we're not standing still. This is the current iTunes, and today we're introducing a brand new version. And it is dramatically simpler, and we've built iCloud right in. And I'd like to show it to you right now. Now, rather than walking through all of the features, I'd like to invite Jeff Robin up to give you a demo. Jeff. Thanks, Eddie. OK, let's take a look at the new iTunes. Here's what it looks like. We've got a beautiful new edge-to-edge -edge design where you can really focus on your music. When you click on an album, it expands in place. And iTunes automatically analyzes the album cover to provide this beautiful themed experience. This is what Adele looks like. Here's Abbey Road. Bruno Mars. And you can just double click to hear a song. Ah, yes. well, looky here, looky here. Ah, what do we have? And each album also comes with a feature we call In the Store where you can see the top songs and albums from that artist, as well as recommendations. Now, of course, you can also browse your library by artist. You can see here we've got the list of artists down the left, as well as all the albums down the right. And I can just click on an artist and just see those albums by that artist on the right. We've even given the artist the ability to share photos with you right in your library. Just click Gallery. And here's some photos that Coldplay is sharing. And of course, we've also got the familiar song list view. But what about playlists? If I click playlists, we can see them on the list on the left here. And I can just select one and click play. I'm at a payphone trying to go home all of my chains. Now when I want to add a song to a playlist, I just click Add. And now, unlike previous versions of iTunes, you can actually see your entire music library and the contents of your playlist at the same time. So I can just drag in new songs and click Done when I'm finished. Now, what about when I'm browsing my library? Let's go back to Albums. And whenever I start to drag an album, iTunes just brings in a list of my playlists from the side, and I can drop new songs right there. And that's playlists inside iTunes. <laughs> We've also added a really cool new feature we call Up Next. Just click this icon in the LCD, and you can quickly see what songs are coming up next. You can rearrange them, and when you see a song you want to hear right now, just double click. But we've also made it really easy to add new songs to Up Next. So I can go to an album, and I can go ahead and just choose Play Next. And if you look at Up Next, you're now going to see Up Next is that new song. And when iTunes has finished playing with it, it's going to go back to my playlist and pick up right where it left off. We think this is a great way to listen to music in the new iTunes. Now, we've also improved search. I can go ahead and just type say. Oops. Apparently, I can't type say. And so what you see is iTunes searching across your entire library, albums, songs, artists, music videos. And I could just double click to play, or just click, and iTunes takes you right there. It's a really easy way to search your library. Now, we know that people love to listen to their music in the background while they're doing other things. So we've really improved the new mini player. So up here in the upper right corner, you'll see a new icon. And if I just click it, 
it switches to the completely redesigned mini player. And I can just roll over and get the controls, click play, picks up where I left off. I can skip to the next song, and the mini player shows me the song that's playing. Now if I want to hear a different song, I can click search, and I'll just type OK. And we've built search right into the mini player. So I can either double click and hear that song right now, or I can click plus, and it adds it to up next, which of course is also built into the mini player. And so you can see there's that song coming up next, and then it'll go back to the playlist and pick up where it left off. So a brand new mini player inside the new iTunes. Now let's go back to the main library. And as Eddie mentioned, we've built iCloud right into iTunes. So my music purchases, movies, TV shows, all right in my library. So let's switch to movies. And this is my entire library, including movies both on my computer as well as in iCloud. So here's one, The Avengers. I was watching this earlier on my iPad, but I didn't get to finish it. Well, iTunes can pick up right where I left off, right from iCloud. Enough! You are all of you beneath me. I am a god, you dull creature. And I will not be bullied by that. <laughs> Puny god. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> iCloud built right into iTunes. And now let me give you a quick tour of the redesigned iTunes store. I'm just going to click this button to go to the store, and this is what it looks like. Very similar to the store on the iPad. Uh, we've got this beautiful showcase up top where you can see what's new and what's hot. And I can just click to cycle through. As well as these shelves, here's new music. It's really easy to just scroll through, as well as new and noteworthy. And if you see an album you're interested in, just click. Here's an album from Bruce Springsteen, been remastered. If I want to pre preview a song, just click play. Let's go to his artist page, click here. And you notice that the song kept playing. So while I'm browsing the store, you can keep those previews going. So this is Bruce's artist page. You'll notice over on the right, we've added concerts. So I can actually see his tour information as well as what concerts are near me. And of course, the new store redesign looks great for movies, TV shows, apps, and the bookstore. So those are just a few of the new features in the new iTunes. And uh, looking forward to you enjoying it as well as we do. Thanks. Thanks, Jeff. That was great. So the new iTunes, dramatically simplified user interface. Play your music, your movies, and TV shows right from iCloud. A completely new mini player. A great new way to listen to your music with Up Next, and of course, the redesigned iTunes Store. The new iTunes will be available in late October, and that's our update on iTunes. We think you're going to love it, and we can't wait for you to get your hands on it. So thank you.